So it is definitely no secret that Rockstar is a huge fan of Tesla vehicles and they love adding them to Grand Theft Auto Online. So we have a lot of cars from the Coil manufacturer, which is supposed to be Tesla, although not all Coil vehicles are from Tesla. Like the Brawler and the Cyclone are clearly not Tesla vehicles, but we do have three of them in game that are. So from day one, we have had the Coil Voltic. There's a hardtop version and a topless version. This is based off of the uh, Model 1, or the original, Tesla Roadster, which is a really cool car. It's the first electric supercar we've had. It's pretty small, it's little, it's quick, just doesn't have amazing top speed. Then in the import-export update, Rockstar added the Rocket version of the Voltic, the Rocket Voltic, and uh, this vehicle is pretty fun. Obviously, it's just the Voltic with a massive jet thruster strapped on the back. And then in the Doomsday Heist, Rockstar added the Coil Raiden, which is either the Tesla Model S or the Tesla Model 3. The cars look really, really similar, and it's kind of hard to tell which one Rockstar was going for. In fact, they might have been actually doing a combination of both of those vehicles. So we know Rockstar is a huge fan of adding these electric sports cars and supercars into the game. And now I'm going to be showing you guys another vehicle that I could very easily see Rockstar adding in the next update. Who knows, we might see this in the nightclub DLC. That is the Coil Terranus. And the Coil Terranus, as you guys can see right here, is based off of another Tesla vehicle, the Model X. So I don't know if the Model X is like hybrid sports car, crossover, crossover SUV. It's kind of like its own unique shape and size, as you guys can see here on the exterior. Uh, one of the first couple things I really liked about this vehicle is just how much glass there is on this car. I mean, you want to talk about uh, sunroof and moonroof. When you're inside this vehicle, and even from the outside, outside, you can see like directly in, you can see directly out. Another thing I think is amazing is this really beautiful modern interior. Not only do you get this amazing view from inside of the car, but you can just see how modern the dash and the steering wheel is and that massive display on the inside too, which is really, really cool. I mean, check this out. It's like a giant iPad screen. You can see it says Terranus up at the top. If we actually take out our phone and look at it in a little bit more detail, we can see just how much detail has gone into this with the coil logo, the temperature of San Andreas. We can see a photo of our Terranus and then some settings like adjusting, heating, and stuff like that. So overall, a really, really cool interior. Uh, and that's something that you expect on these coil vehicles that are super modern cars is to have all the gadgets and stuff like that. And in real life, the Tesla Model X is one of the most high-tech cars out there that you can buy, which is super cool. So let's bring this car into the Los Santos Custom Shop and let's modify it up, which we actually can do a little bit of customization to this vehicle. Uh, the first thing we're gonna be able to do is basically change all of the black or carbon fiber options on the bumpers and the skirt. We can make that the primary color. So I actually decided to do that for all the options just to show you guys what that would actually look like. Um, and you can see here, there's a little bit of minimal customization here. Probably the biggest thing you can do to this car is changing the colors. And I don't know about you guys, but I have only seen a handful of Tesla Model Xs in real life, and all the colors I've seen are either black, red, or white. Like those are like the only ones I've ever seen. Uh, white probably being the most common. So that's what I decided to do for this color. I ended up going with the white option. Uh, a couple other things you could do like change the transmission, the turbo, which I don't think that would make sense since this is an electric vehicle, but I'm gonna let that slide because this mod is absolutely incredible. You can mess with the suspension, change the wheels if you want. One of the funniest things is if you actually tint the windows because there's so much glass on this car, it makes it look absolutely ridiculous. Uh, so I decided to opt against that. Uh, and that's pretty much everything you can do to this vehicle in the LSC. Now, moving on to the outside, one of my favorite features of this car that I think is absolutely incredible is the doors. So obviously, as you guys know, on the Tesla Model X, the rear doors open up like a Falcon. It's so cool. And that would be a really unique and modern feature that Rockstar could apply to a vehicle in Grand Theft Auto Online to have these crazy looking doors that flew open like that. That would be super cool. Another thing I find cool about this vehicle that really wouldn't apply to Grand Theft Auto Online, but since there's no engine in the trunk or the front, you get all this extra space. 
Uh, again, not really sure how that would apply to online because you really wouldn't be putting anything in there, but it is pretty cool. And as you guys can see there, there's absolutely nothing in the front or the back. So that's my first really awesome favorite feature of this car. The next thing I really like about this vehicle, some people think it's totally outrageous, but that is the retractable spoiler. That's right, this crossover sports car SUV has a retractable spoiler like you see on the XA21 and the T20. And what's crazy about this is the Tesla Model X in real life has this feature too which is kinda cool. And this is a really fast car. That is definitely something to not overlook here. This is one of the quickest vehicles out there. And in GTA 5, with this, you feel the exact same thing. It is a very, very fast car. Now, you lose a little bit on the top speed and once it gets going for a while, but at the same time, you take off from the line so quickly that it really is just the, one of the most fastest vehicles at the start. Another really cool thing I like about this vehicle is just how modern it is. I was talking about the interior. Another really cool thing about the primary color is it actually has an impact on the interior as well. You guys can see how the outline of our little dash iPad thing in the center is no longer blue, but now it's white. Well, that's because we changed the outside of the car, so that's a really cool feature right there. Another feature I like, the headlights. The headlights are super modern and very, very bright. Uh, like they've got crazy LEDs installed. And I just love being able to like see through the back of the car because it has so much glass on it. Again, that's one of my favorite all-time features of this vehicle. And I really do think this has a good chance of being added into Grand Theft Auto Online. I mean, we know how much Rockstar loves Tesla cars. It's modern, it's electric and it sort of fits that nightclub nightlife vibe. So I honestly would not be shocked if in a future update or in the next Grand Theft Auto Online update, we see this vehicle, the Coil Terranus, or a similar version to it of the Tesla Model X added into the game. I'd love to hear from you guys though in the comments down below. What would you think about a vehicle like this being added into Grand Theft Auto Online? Do you think it would be ridiculous? Do you think it would be cool? Do you think Rockstar has done enough Tesla cars and needs to move on? Let me know your thoughts, opinions, more in the comments down below. I'd love to hear from you guys down there. If you did go on to enjoy this video though, a like rating would of course be awesome. And also subscribe to my YouTube channel if you are new, you like daily GTA 5 videos like this. With all the way guys, like I said, thanks so much for watching. Take care and I'll see you guys in the next video.